this is Barry for Aquarium Outfitters and Fish Store and welcome to Species Spotlight. Today we're going to be talking about something different. It's not a fish, it's actually an amphibian called the axolotl. The axolotl originally comes from Mexico, near where Mexico City is located, from two high altitude freshwater lakes, only one of which still exists as canals. They are an endangered species in the wild. The name axolotl has its origins in the Aztec language, commonly translated as water dog. It has also been called the Mexican walking fish. It is, technically, a type of salamander. Most wild axolotl are not white, but darker in color. It has been bred a lot in captivity, not only for the aquarium trade and reintroduction into the wild, but for scientific studies. The axolotl is capable of full limb regrowth. The axolotl can reach 10 inches, in some rare instances even longer. It's recommended that you keep the axolotl in a tank by himself. Other fish might decide to nip at his large flowy gills. Conversely, it is the general understanding that any fish that can fit into the axolotl's mouth might potentially be food. They can nip at other fish and even other axolotls. Axolotls like a planted aquarium with other decorations they can hide in. They may uproot your plants though. As for substrate, small gravel is not recommended. They could swallow it and it could cause blockage and possibly be fatal. You can use very large gravel, bigger than their head, that they can't fit into their mouth, or very fine sand that would not cause blockage in their gut. The axolotl needs a low flow in their tank. High flow can lead to stress and possibly disease. You want to keep their water clean with plenty of water changes. They like the temperature cool from around 50 to 68 degrees and without quick drastic fluctuations. Temperatures above 74 can potentially stress them out. A pH from around 7 to 7.6 is good. The axolotl likes worms, like earthworms, defrosted bloodworms. You can even give them cooked defrosted shrimp from the supermarket. Avoid feeder fish because the axolotl can be susceptible to the parasites and disease they could carry. The minimum recommended tank size is 20 to 30 gallons. They create a good bit of waste and you need to maintain good water quality. The axolotl is an amazing creature, but will probably need his own place, but he's totally worth it. So what are your thoughts on the axolotl? Comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. The healthy axolotl can live 10 years or more. Consult your local aquarium store for more information.